everyone and welcome to our channel, the best place for all things sewing. Today I'm going to show you how to use free software to overlay fabric pictures that either you have taken or you've downloaded off the internet over top of the line drawings that are included with every pattern New Horizons has so that you can mock up your pattern before you sew it so you can see exactly how you want to place your fabric and your different designs to make the best garment that you possibly can. You can use many different software programs to do this. Today I'm going to use a free one called Fire Alpaca. It's a free download. You just go to firealpaca.com. You choose which operating system that you use, if you use Windows or I iOS, and download that and choose your language. Download and install the free program and then I will show you how to do it in Fire Alpaca. You can use the same method in any software program that allows you to manipulate images as layers. The layering feature is very important. If you're not familiar with layers in the digital drawing sense, you can think of them like panes of glass that you can stack on top of each other and then look down from the top to see an image that's composed of different parts that add up to one image. You can manipulate each of these layers individually and that's how we use the line drawing to cut out the fabric everywhere we don't want it to be and leave the image of the fabric exactly where we want it to be so that we can see what our finished garment will look like before you even sew it. If you're getting value from this video, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our upcoming sewing videos. And don't forget to check out our partner blog I have linked down below, which goes through every step so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. And here we are. This is Fire Alpaca. We're going to click OK to close the only ad that it ever opens, and then we are going to get started. So first we will go to File, New, and this is how we're going to start a new project. You can choose the size, I just make a square one about 6,000 by 6,000 to get started. And we'll want to do the background color in color, that just makes it a little bit easier to see what we're doing, and click OK. Now you can go to either newhorizonsdesigns.com and click on the pattern that you want to play with, or you can open up the PDF pattern and you're going to right click on the line drawing and go to edit paste. And that will give you the entire line drawing. So we want to crop this with the crop button. So you can see over here on this toolbar on the left hand side. So we're going to select just the view that we want to try out and then go to edit crop to delete all of the rest of that and then that's a little bit small so we will zoom in with the scroll wheel on the mouse and you can go and center it and get it to just where you want. So this is our outline and we can move using the sand tool. So we're going to name our drawing layer, it's over here called layer 2 and we just want to rename it and we'll name it line art. You can name it whatever you like, this just helps you keep track of what's on each layer. This layer needs to stay on top, so if this layer ever gets down lower in the list of layers over here, just make sure to move it up. You can move it up with the arrows. The line drawing does have one thing we don't need though, and that's the white coloring in between the lines. This is not transparent, there's actually white on this so we need to make it transparent so that we can see through it for when we put our fabrics behind it so we're going to remove that white space so we're going to select the magic wand tool over here and click it click on the white background outside of the line drawing and you can see everything turns this very lovely shade of blue so we're going to hold down the shift key and select all of the areas inside the line drawing that we want to keep so just one by one, go through and select each one. I leave the inside of the cuffs and the inside of the hood um, just for shading. So the hood, since there's some shading already on the hood, um, it might be a little bit difficult to get all of it. You can zoom in to make it easier and move up and down. Uh, the more thoroughly you get all of these different individual layers, the easier it will be to see what your what your fabric will look like on the summit. And now we are going to cut 
all of those areas. So we're going to go to edit, cut. And so this has removed all the white parts, but you really can't see any difference yet. So now you're going to go to select and click deselect and that deselects the magic wand. So save your line drawing here and you'll be able to go back and use it again. So I'm just going to say summit, this is the kids version and save it as a fire alpaca file. So now this is the fun part. Now we're going to grab a picture of fabric. You can get this um, from a website. You can get it from Facebook. You can take your own picture and put it on your computer. Um, you can get your fabric pictures from anywhere you like, but what you just need to do is open it up and right click on it. So you just need to select copy from wherever you want it to. And then you will come back to fire alpaca make sure layer one is selected not your line art layer because we want this underneath the line art select layer one and then click edit paste and this puts your fabric behind your line art so don't worry if it's everywhere and don't worry if it's not the right size but don't click on it just yet you can open the select menu and click transform now you can resize the fabric you resize the fabric by clicking the dot at one corner transform and then you can change the scale of the fabric by moving it up and down this is i believe a half yard scale actually which is why it's so large you can adjust the fabric to about by eye what you think the scale is um, if the fabric company had a measurement and you know how tall your hoodie is you can do a better job with guesstimating what the scale of the fabric will be on the hoodie. But for this mock-up, we're just gonna do kind of by eye. I think the scale is about closer to this, so I'm actually going to add another one on top, and you can have this, select transform, and we will shrink this again. And we can add this to the bottom and just try to match it up as well as you can. out here and then you can merge these two layers you can merge layer three and layer four by selecting this down button which will push this layer onto this layer and combine them into one so now we have all of this layer of fabric on one layer which will make it easier to manipulate make sure that your line art is on top you should always be able to see your line art when the fabric picture is where you want it hit okay at the bottom there it's helpful to name this layer here this fabric pattern is called blooming splash So you're now going to hide this fabric layer by clicking this eye right here that this layer is not gone it's not deleted it's just hidden so you can't see it right now and then select the line art layer which is the top layer click the magic wand button over here now you're going to click outside of the line art one more time and click on every area holding down shift on every area where you do not want this fabric to go. So I want this fabric, this is my main fabric, so I'm going to keep it on the bodice and on the hood, and I'm going to keep it on the sleeves, but I don't want it on the waistband, the side panels, and the cuffs, and here. I don't want it inside the hood. So remember to hold shift every time you click because you're clicking all of these. You can zoom in and out to make it easier. And this is everywhere that I do not want the main fabric. Everywhere that the purple is, is where you do want this layer of fabric. We will click on our Blooming Splash layer to select it. Open the Edit menu and do Edit, Cut. So this cuts the main fabric from everywhere that is not purple. I'm going to, to turn off the magic wand, we go to select, deselect, and now in order to see what's left of this fabric, we turn the eye back on, and it's back. And now we have our main fabric exactly where we want it. Now we're going to do this again for our accent fabric. Make sure your line art layer is selected, go and copy your accent fabric, come back here on the line art layer, click edit, paste, and our accent is everywhere. 
We don't really need to rescale this one since it's a solid, but you can if you would like to, or if you're using a secondary pattern, we go to select transform, click one of the dots in the center and you can move it around and make sure that it covers everywhere that you're going to want to use it, which that will just there. And then click OK when you're finished with that. We're going to rename this neon pink. Click OK. You do still want to be able to see the line art on top of this accent fabric. So we're going to select the line art layer and just pull it up above so that it's on top of the neon pink. We are going to hide both of our fabric layers. This time we're going to hide the blooming splash and the neon pink, our main and our accent. We're going to click the magic wand again click outside of the summit and now we're going to shift and select everywhere we do not want the accent fabric. Now click on your fabric layer that you're controlling this time. So I'm going to click on my accent color, the neon pink, open the edit menu and click cut, select deselect and then turn back on your accent layer and your main layer. So if you want to use a solid that you don't have right now, you can go to the color wheel over here up on the top left side of the screen and select any color from this color shading diagram and you can use a fill tool to fill it in. I usually just fill in my hoods kind of dark gray for imagining them. But if you actually want to do a pink lining, you can also do that to get a rough idea of how it will look. You can change these, you can change the layers, you can add extra layers and click them on and off to see what it will look like with different looks. Love to see anything that you design using it. I hope this was a helpful tutorial. If you use Fire Alpaca or any software program to make a fabric mock-up of our patterns, I would love to see it. And if you can compare it to your finished garment, that would be very cool. I would love to see those in our Facebook group, so please feel free to post those. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new videos. And I would really like to thank Carleen Brooks for her Fire Alpaca tutorial, which is how I learned how to use Fire Alpaca. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.